moving to do it. As this puck goes down, we're going to watch this player. He's going to make space. He goes full speed this way. The player comes around. We made space right here. If it's there, we take it. We actually have it right down the right wing side. We have a two on a two on one. A recovery plan. All right. So it's short ice. We can go back and set up, but why let them set up? Let's come in with a plan and you again it's similar to the center hinge. We're just gonna hinge the Tampa's gonna hinge the strong side, the inside winger. So we make space, we create space, and then we get a puck to open space. All to get through the neutral zone for possession or a four check. The zone, we use this one a lot at RPI, um, like it where we can just flood three guys to puck side and try and outnumber them. Indirect pass um, from the strong side D. Watching Klingberg here. Let it run, Ben. Okay. He gets it. Watch where he goes. They go D to D. Yep. Back to him. Pause. Okay. Now he's in with possession. That's a clip that our players would see before. Pause. Okay. This is an example of a, of, of a stretch three or a flood three. I love this because it allows you to play quick. It's a D to D. And watch our three forwards here. Let it run. All three forwards are gone. Flood one side, get a chip. You got Will Carrier, pause. Oh, we're going hard. Winger, winger, go. And this is not a man and a half, it's two. We're going. And the reason for that, let it run. As soon as that puck is dictated, we want our strong side D up. And the key to this clip is center above center. Our right defenseman right there cannot go if he doesn't think that our center is above their center, or we could be in a lot of trouble. So they know that. Next. Let it run. Here he is here, steps in, bang. Here it is. Nice draw. We're going to win it back. Pause. Okay. Right through the seam right there. Here comes both the Tampa's forwards. It's a two-man four-check, off a face-off loss. We go flat. We know we're going to get confronted. I believe it's Joel Ward knows he's going to get confronted now. Now we need that little chip, and then we're in. Right there, in. Now we can get in on the body. Back for the first touch. This, the forwards are reading, what does he have? This defender has done a job potentially cutting off that pass. So we go right up. We use the boards. And now you can see, let's go back just a little bit. We are coming to the puck. We've got ice support and ice balance. And now we can flow right into our offensive zone. Really a good quick up to catch the defenders. Here's a D to D. All right. Just try and stop it at the right place. And even though it's a D to D, we can still attack. Okay. We've got one guy beat. We can go north very quickly. We have the default up the wall, and the other guys fill the lane. And in this case, we have the D join for a, an excellent uh, line rush four. Another quick up. Again, we have the default. There's really no play. There, there's, there's nothing that any of these guys can do. We've got a little bit of congestion. So let's put it up the wall. We know that we're thinking this is our default spot, and then let's flow to the puck so we can strike quickly without letting them get set up. Here's another clip of it. Again, it happens. As soon as you see we're getting the puck, we're going north. We're going fast. We get it off the wall indirect. A really good principle from the line rush. Now we get some ice balance. We make a play and we're good to go. That's off a straight quick up. Now as we approach the concept of D to D, there's an early D to D. We always want the strong side outlet, regardless of the center depth, we can flow to the puck and we have ice balance with guys moving so we can have the next phase of our neutral zone, All right? So we go high, we go quick up, D to D quick up. In this case, we get a bump back to an open centerman. 
and we have possession into the zone, which is our goal. Because we're coming back and you never know the depth, right? Sometimes we have centermen at different depths on the return and the reload. So we go D to D. Now we're starting to go north. There's our default. The weak side winger had come across probably a little more than we would have liked him to, but we're able to fill some lanes with the play in front of us or a D could come. But you can see how quickly these plays happen. So here's a quick, again, underhandle, D to D north, attack space. All right, we're flooding to the puck side, and we're also got a little movement to open ice. Good pass for possession into the zone. These are the D to D quick ups. D to D, right? Allow this defense, and you can see him looking, right? He's got all these options, but we know that we have a default up the strong side. Now our movement, now we trust our hockey players to fill lane, find space, and guys moving away from the puck after the kickout. D to D, love this. So after a while, teams know, pause that just a little bit. Teams know that we've been looking strong side. We've been looking here. Anytime we can get it to the middle, we like that. We really like that. And you can see we're anticipating very well very well um, we want to go north and anytime we can beat three uh, neutral zone four checkers with one pass that's a that's a good entry nice play